So let's talk about your next one. I'm going to go ahead and publish the assignment so you can see it. I actually gave you some sample code. There you go. Now you can see it. The sample code, actually, let me read the assignment to you. I can guarantee you positively there's typos or something in there. You're not going to understand something. Create a program that uses functions. Your program will take a word and have the ability to do each of the following things to it using a function for each. For instance, convert it to uppercase, convert it to lowercase, convert, delete the last letter, delete the first letter, and so on and so forth. Inside my little parentheses there is the rule, like if I enter a U, it'll convert to uppercase. If I enter an L, it'll convert to lowercase. I'll show you an example. You also want, want to set a loop so it continues until I say quit, okay? I give you the code, I give you an example of code right here, which I'm gonna run right now. You can copy it right out of there, it will work. Chapter five assignment. I only did a small part of it, L-E-L. -L. Okay, in this case, I defined a function called uppercase that will receive a rule, a word, and return it. Obviously, I could have just called upper, but I want you to make a function called uppercase. That function will call upper and return the result. So when I run this, just like the code says, enter a word. I'm sorry, enter happy. Enter the rule. In this case, u is for uppercase. So I'm going to enter u, and it converts it to uppercase. Isn't that awesome? So... You do everything pretty much just like that. You just add all the rules. Add all the other rules. So if I run it again, and I type in happy, and I type in L, it does nothing. Because I've not defined the L portion yet. Okay? So just like this, now, some of these ones require a little bit of thought especially like rotate left and rotate right. So happy becomes A-P-P-Y-H. Refer back to the string chapter. Rotate right, happy becomes Y-H-A-P-P. -P. So it rotates the letters around. Also count the number of vowels. Okay. Tell me, tell me how many vowels are. We covered that as well. It's literally in the string chapter. It's all there. I didn't give you any hard ones, I just gave you all the easy ones. Uh, so there's the code right there. That's literally the same exact code in my program, right? For everyone. I think it's both. But this is the exact code I used right here. You might have to adjust the, the indenting, but if you just copy this, I'm not sure how the spaces will copy. So do you want that into, into a loop that will Yeah, I want a loop so it keeps going. So I could type in happy, but I could go you, L this, that, you know. It'd be nice if you had the loop after happy, you know, after you get the word, you know what I mean? So basically between these two here, I just didn't want to put the loop in there for you. So you can get the word, get a rule, and I'm going to type in a letter, it's going to output the rule, and it's going to keep letting me type in other rules. And right here you'll notice I'm giving you all the valid rules right there. Easy enough. Work with it. Start with what I gave you, add one more. Then add one more. But you might as well add the loop initially. Okay. Some of you are great with loops already. One of them. So. Easy enough. It's not that hard. So next class period, we don't have that much left of the chapter. So if you've been working on it, I don't mind helping you at the end of class. Because we'll have some leftover time. Make sense? Everybody? Give you an idea how to make functions. Again, it's every one of these must be done with a function. All right, you're out of here.